elevation. It's not just a U2 music video. It's also really important when planning electric car day trips. What's that you mean? I'll explain. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. A great example is my recent drive from Coffs Harbour to Ebor Falls on the scenic Waterfall Way rural, rural road. The important thing is there was a huge increase in elevation. I started at almost sea level, so very close to zero altitude. And I finished at the midpoint, Ebor Falls, at 1,350 meters. So a huge difference from beginning to end. And that made a massive difference to the car's efficiency at how quickly it used up its battery. I'll show you the stats and explain why the numbers are so different between the different stages of this drive. So overall, for the whole trip from Coffs Harbour to Ebor Falls and back again, which is about 227 kilometres, this EV5 Air long range averaged about 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometres. And you might think, that's pretty awesome. Why do I need to plan ahead? I don't care. That sounds like a good efficiency level. This is why you need to plan ahead. I'll show you the footage of my drive. As you can see on the way there, it was a real rise in elevation. You can tell just by looking at my dash cam footage. Look, at besides the fact that the roads were very, um, lots of curves and bends, we were going uphill all the way, even right from the beginning to Bellingen. So the average for the trip from Coffs Harbour to Ebor Falls was about 24 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that's a lot. But the huge difference was coming back along the other way, the average was, what can you guess? 15, 10, 8. It was about 8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that is a massive difference. And that's why the average over the whole trip was 16. It's not because it was like 16, 17, 18, 20, 15, 16. It was a huge difference between the two stages of the journey, averaged out in the middle. So my tip is, if you're traveling to mountains or uphill to plateaus, always make sure you have plenty of battery charge at least 80%, try and get to 100%, especially in electric cars that don't have a huge battery. And if you can, try and organize your trip so you're going downhill for those slopes because you'll use hardly any energy. So if I'd planned my trip to come up through Armadale and then drive down to Coffs Harbour, I would have used hardly any electricity. If I was planning my trip in a loop to go from Coffs Harbour to Armadale and then back home to Sydney, I would use tons more electricity going uphill to along the waterfall way. I hope that explains why there's so much difference between how much an electric car uses in energy going uphill versus downhill. Downhill, you get a lot of the energy back using regenerative braking, especially on a car like this, the Kia EV5, which has full one pedal driving. So I didn't need to use the brake whatsoever on the way down. It was really easy. I just modulated the accelerator to match the speed limit and make sure I slowed down for all the roadworks. And it was nice and simple. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism.